Hello everyone, I am Moth here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation to Karate Framework playlist. In this video, we will learn about JSON path expression used in Karate Framework. So internally, Karate Framework uses JV JSON path. So if you have used this JV JSON path with race assured, then the expression of syntaxes are quite similar in Karate Framework. This is the official documentation of JV JSON path. I will suggest you to go through with it once. I will cover basic and advanced concepts of JSON path in this video. I will take the same JSON example whatever explained in this page. So let me copy this JSON object and go to jsononlineeditor.org. So let's see some basics of JSON. You can see here it is starting with a curly braces and if you go to end it is ending with curly braces. So any document which is starting and ending with the curly braces then it is called JSON object. But it may start with the square bracket as well like this. So when a document starts with the square bracket and ends with the same then it is JSON array. So JSON array is the collection of JSON object. You can see inside this JSON array we have a JSON object. Inside JSON object we can have the JSON array. So let me go back to JSON object itself. If I close all the nested things. So here you can see this JSON object primarily has two children store and expensive. This store will have their own family tree. So if I expand it, you can see this store has two children book and bicycle. Again book will have their own children. If I expand the book, you can see it consists one JSON array. It means this book has four children 1, 2, 3 and 4. So suppose if you want to extract the category value, then we need to write the JSON path. So writing the JSON path is very simple. We need to start from the root and first thing we need to go to store because from here everything starts. So book is the immediate child of store and we can see store is a JSON object because it is starting with the curly braces. Then we can simply write the store.book. As soon as we write the store.book, it will give me this thing. This book has four children. So explicitly I need to say which child, first child, second child, whatever child you have. So I want to say that okay, I want to use the first child. Then I need to use store.book, book of the zero, dot category, something like this. So this is the basic of JSON path. If it is direct child, then you need to use the dot operator. If it is an array, then you need to use the index. So let's write some basic JSON path in Karate framework. I will store the JSON in a variable. For that I can use def and I can name JSON object. And since my JSON JSON object is multi-line. For that, we need to press enter, then put three double quotes, enter, and here I can paste it in between. Suppose I want to assert the value of expensive, that it should be 10. We can directly use the JSON path with the match keyword. That means star match, and here I can put the JSON path. I need to apply the JSON path on this document. So I need to use this variable, use the variable name, use the dot, and then I need to use the key, which is expensive. And this I want to assert that value should be 10. Let me quickly run and show you the output. So right hand side, you can see test case is passed because the expensive value is 10. If I explicitly do it 11, then it should fail this time. So here you can see it failed because 10 is not equal to 11. Suppose instead of directly asserting it here, I want to extract the value stored in a variable then assert it. So basically you need to use the get keyword and then use the same JSON path. So this expression will return you a value and that value I can store in a variable. To print I need to use the print keyword and you can use some text and give the variable name or even you can match it now. You just pass this variable here, you double equal and pass the value. Let me comment this one. Here I have made a mistake, I need to use the star or in this BDD keyword. So here you can see it printing the value and assertion is also passed. If you see the official documentation of JWay, it says that dollar operator can be used as the root element to the query. That means if I try to write something dollar here, will it work? It will not work here because it doesn't know what is JSON document here. But when you are hitting any API and you get the response. So in Karate, that response will be stored in a inbuilt variable called response. For that response, you can use the dollar because in that context, we have the JSON, but here we don't have. So if you want to use the dollar symbol, you will need to explicitly say that, okay, apply the dollar on this JSON object. Same syntax we can write in another way. Just say, get json object and then use the space then use the dollar i will run this so you can see test cases part and it is also printing the expensive values 10 you can rewrite the same statement in some different format as well we can combine both the json object variable and the dollar sign like this one and we can remove the get keyword i will run and we will see the same output so here is the similar output we have another two ways to extract the value from a json document so karate is a global object which contains 
मल्टीपल मैथड सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज टू मैथड फ्रॉम डेट कराटे ऑब्जेक्ट वन इज गेट अनदर इज जेसन पाथ डेट मीन शो यू विद द एग्जाम्पल सो वी नीड टू कॉल कराटे डॉट गेट इन दिस गेट मैथड आई नीड टू जस्ट पास द जेसन पाथ आई कैन कॉपी द सेम थिंग एंड द रिटर्न टाइप ऑफ दिस मैथड विल बी अगेन वन वैल्यू दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टोर इन द वेर एवल कमेंट दिस एंड रन सो हियर यू कैन सी इट इज गिविंग द सेम आउटपुट वी हैव अनदर वे टू डू द सेम थिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग कराटे डॉट गेट आई कैन यूज द कराटे डॉट जेसन पाथ बट सिंटेक्स इज लिटिल डिफरेंट सो द मैथड नेम इज जेसन पाथ एच पी इज कैपिटल and here i need to pass two arguments first thing you need to pass what is the json document name so json document name is json object and then pass the json path so this type of json path into pass if you are using the karate dot get but if you are using json path then don't use this one just use start with dollar because that is the root of any json document let me run and show you the output so here you can see it is giving the same output if you don't want to store the value in a variable and assert it directly with the karate dot json path or karate dot get then also you can do you can use the star match and left hand side i will paste this statement double equal and right side i will give the karate dot get so i will get the output as true let me show you one problem i faced i want to print title of first book so for that i need to write simple json path and i will use the print statement so let me start with the json object because that is the variable name i have given then store book is the direct child of store so i'll use dot book book has four children so i need to say that i want the title of first book so i have given the index in the square bracket once we give the index again we have this json object so for this the logic is same i need to use the dot operator and i need to pass the key which is title let me run and show you the output so here you can see the printing sort of on now i want to print all the titles so i wrote instead of passing the index i need to use a star keyword in this case it will fetch the title of all the book i will run and show you the output here you can see it is printing the value for the first statement but for the second it is giving the error for the star character and it is showing that expected an operand but found star so i started thinking for this one it is working why it is not working for the all when i couldn't figure it out then i raised the issue on the stack overflow and found that print will not support json path with the wildcard characters if you are passing some specific index then it will give you the value but if i using question mark or if i using any filter condition then it will not work that's why i said before always use karate dot get or karate dot json path to avoid unexpected results so now instead of passing the json path plain i will use karate dot get method or karate dot json path so the first argument will be the json object and here i need to use the dollar symbol and here i will use karate dot get anything you can use but i am showing the example with both the methods i will run this and you will see it is giving me the expected output this time so here you can see we are getting some error it is saying that dollar is not defined problem is i have not used the single quotes or double quotes to provide the json path i will run now So this time you can see it printing titles of all the books. Suppose I want to fetch only the fourth book and I'm using the karate dot get. So for that you can cover this in parentheses and use the index like three. Please remember index will start from zero. So here you can see it printing the title of the book. We have some deep searches as well. Means here we are writing the whole JSON path to get the title. Instead of writing the whole JSON path step by step, I can use the double dot. So wherever we have title key, it will fetch the value of all the titles. Let me store it into a variable and print it. This is two step process. I can use the print statement directly. So here you can see it is printing the title of all the book. But suppose I will add a new key at the last as well, and I will replace the JSON object here. I will run now, and I am expecting. it should return me five titles because wherever it will find the title key it will give the value so here you can see it is giving one array with all the titles now i don't want to get the last title i just want title of the book for that i can use double dot wherever you find the book get the title of it let me run and show you the output so here you can see this time it is not returning the title whatever i have added newly because that is not satisfying this json path here we can have the conditions means fetch the title of the book whose author is this guy so i will use karate dot json path basic syntax remains same you need to pass the json document name and here i need to write the json path with the condition so use the single quotes or double quotes whatever you want to use i need to use dollar dot store dot 
book book is an array and here i want to put some condition so put the condition we need to use the square bracket and here you need to give the question mark then parenthesis here i need to put the condition condition on which field so for that i need to use add dot give the field name maybe author if the author name is nickel less and i need to give the value in single quote that's why i use the double quotes here but you can use the single quotes outside and use the double quotes inside whatever you feel comfortable you can fail so once this condition is satisfied i want to extract the title of that book let me run and show you so what are we expecting it should return sayings of the century so here you can see it is returning me the correct title we can use the logical and an or operator as well means i want to get the title of books written by two authors so here i need to use and operator i will use the add symbol because i want to put the condition on the field you can use any different field also and here i will pass the another author name here i need to use double equal now i will run and show you the output so here you can see it is giving me some empty array the reason is simple because i have used the and operator in this situation both the conditions should be true but here we don't have any book where we have the two authors so instead of using and i will use or operator so this time i will get a json array containing title of two book so here you can see it is returning a json array if it returns only one value that will give you a direct value but if it is returning multiple values that will give you a json array which we have seen in this example now let's see examples on index based json path here we have four book in the book array so this is first book second book third book and fourth book but the index will be 0 1 2 and 3 and in the json path we need to use the indexes only so suppose i want to get the first book so we need to pass the index as 0 so i will use the print statement with the karate dot json path pass the json object and let me pass the json path we need to start with the dollar symbol dot store dot book here and to pass the index so i need first book so i am passing the index as zero let me run and show you here you can see it is giving the detail of first book suppose you want to get the book details from the last last one or the second last third last like this one so in this case we need to pass the index but we need to add minus but the trick part is here when you pass the negative index it will start from one so suppose if i want second last book details then i need to pass minus 2 i will change it to minus 2 and run now so here you can see it is printing the details of second last book you can match it from here similarly if you want to get the first book and second book only two books to get the first book i need to pass index at 0 and for the second book i need to pass the index at 1 so it will give me first two books now let me run and show you the output so here you can see it is returning sayings of the century and sort of honor which is first and second book if you want first book and third book then need to pass the index as 0 and 2 suppose you want first three books to be written for that we can pass the initial index and then use the colon pass the last index means 2 but the trick part is here end index will not be included means instead of 2 i need to pass 3 then only it will give me the first three book details let me run and show you the output so it is returning sayings of century sort of honor and moby dick now you can see it is giving you the same title Similarly, we have different patterns with the indexes which you can try with the JWA JSON path. Those details you can find in the official documentation of JWA JSON path. We have some aggregator methods as well. Suppose I want to get how many children this book key has. So I need to write store.book dot length these are predefined methods if i run this will give me that book has length 4 so the output is 4 similarly if i want to add price of all the book or i want to get the maximum price or if i want to get the minimum price for that also we have some aggregator method book of star dot price dot um these are predefined methods if i run i am expecting it should add all the prices and return the value but on execution it is giving me the error what error it is giving like aggregator function attempted to calculate value using empty array we have book as a json array and i'm using the star because i want to get all the prices and then i want to get the sum of it if i remove this sum method and run now it will give me a json array with all the prices which you can see here but when i call some method or maximum method or minimum method then it is failing and this is an open bug with the jwa json path from 2016 so we cannot do anything in this but we have something if i use deep scan means i will not write the exact path but if i write double dot price and then i I can call some method or min or max let me quickly copy and paste and change the method name run the scenario and here you can see it is returning the sum maximum and minimum value so like this we have many useful expression in json path i tried to cover the basic and advanced one if you want to learn more 
you should go to JVJSON path official documentation and you can see the examples here. So whatever method I was showing minimum maximum you can see everything is explained here. So there are so many different methods as well. You should give it a try. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.